Hello everyone, I am Muskan Mardgil, a fourth year veterinary student and today we will be discussing some of the instruments used in veterinary gynecology. So let's get started with this. First we have this uterine swab catheter and as you can see in the close up it pushes out like so. We can roll a cotton swab on this end and take the sample. Now since we are manually slicking back the covering to expose uh, the swab, the advantage of this uh, uterine swab catheter over the conventional sterile swab sticks is that we can take sample of a specific point, else uh, the swab stick could have been contaminated uh, from the neighboring tissues. Next let's talk about this uterine biopsy punch. As the name suggests, this instrument is used to take the biopsy samples from the cervix or the uterus. So for the procedure, we insert the biopsy punch near the required tissue, open the punch, close it back in and we finally have our biopsy sample and then we take it out. Here you can visualize the process diagrammatically. We can see the person is doing a rectal examination and then uh, inserting his uterine punch to grab a biopsy sample from wherever required. Next, we have this uterine swab holder and it's used to hold the uterine swabs in place. Uh, it opens and closes like so and it's pretty easy to use. Next, we have this instrument called Bain's type 2 channel catheter and as you can see, it has two separate walls. So, uh, these are used to simultaneously infuse and flush out whatever medication we are using for the uterus. Here you can see one of the examples where the two walls of the catheter are in use. One is used to infuse in while the other one is used to flush out the medium. Next we have another instrument to extract the biopsy samples called the uterine biopsy catheter. So um, in contrast to the punch, this one has a larger space to hold more number, more amount of sample in it and therefore the chances of injury in this case are higher. Next instrument we have this simple metal uterine catheter and this instrument is used for uterine infusions. The only disadvantage we have in this catheter is the single opening at the end. So imagine the animal is in heat or for some reason there is excessive mucus in the reproductive tract and when we insert the catheter and the mucus may get sucked in. So due to just one opening there is no way out and this may make the infusion difficult. So to solve this problem we have a better version of the same instrument and it's called the Nielsen type uterine catheter. If we closely observe its end, the opening here is given sideways in contrast to the previous catheter that we have seen. Also here is another variant of the same with the curved end and you can see you can manually plunge out the suction in this. Next we have this instrument called Berdizo castrator and it's used for castration in bulls, equines etc. The objective is to crush the blood vessels and spermatic cords supplying the testicles and hence performing the castration. This method however is extremely painful for the animal as compared to the surgical castration. Next we have this instrument called the ovarian hook or the spay hook. This surgical instrument is used in the ovariohysterectomy or the spaying or neutral procedures in cats and dogs. The hook provided at this end is used to retrieve the uterine horn while performing the surgery and hence minimum incision is required. Next instrument we have here is called the vaginal speculum. Now this instrument is used to dilate the vulvar lips for uh, the examination of the internal contents. Of the next instrument we have here is called the vaginoscope. Now as you can see the vaginoscope has a light scope provided in it. So we can use the light from the vaginoscope along with the vaginal speculum for easier examination of the vulvar lips and the internal uh, layers of the reproductive tract. The next instrument that we have here is called the dog ovulation detector. Now we have been provided with various charts along with this instrument which we can use to graph the estrus cycle of our dog. Now this instrument is based on the principle that the electrical resistance, the value of the electrical resistance determines the optimum mating period in a dog. Um, so I'll quickly show you how it works. Firstly we'll insert the tip of this instrument in the vagina of our she dog. We have been provided with the button at the back side. We will push it once to start it. Now we will push the button 3 more times after an interval of roughly 1 second. Now as you can see we will push the button for the final time and we can see the recorded electrical resistance reading of the cervical mucus on the screen. 
Now this is an easy and cost effective way to determine the optimum mating time and has been used by breeders all over the world. Now this is a ovulation detector for larger animals and it's used in the same way. The next instrument that we have here is called the uterine irrigation or infusion pump. This instrument is used when large amount of a solution is required to be added to the uterus. For example, in the cases of long standing dystocia when the birth canal is extremely dry and high quantity of lubricant is required, a uterine irrigation pump come handy. Finally, we have this last instrument called the pressurized lubricant pump or the pressurized irrigation infusion pump. This has the same function as the uterine irrigation pump. So that was all for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. See you all next time. Bye.